Hello, friends. I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope everything is good and great and wonderful. I hope that life is going great for you. This week at work, <laughs> I've been learning um, a bit of a valuable life lesson, you know, at 41. It's, uh, 41 is the time to learn how to be an adult, right? I think so. <laughs> um, <coughs> and it just has to do, I think, with uh, some of my avoidance behavior that um, we've talked about in the past. And... Uh, it comes down to essentially, ooh, I'm working on a, I got pulled off of the project I had been working on to work on a more time sensitive project that um, is for a paying client and, and we're, we're kind of transitioning their system from uh, from one platform to another. Something that uh, the current platform that they're on is basically, I don't want to say it's not used, but it's it's not widely adopted, so there's no documentation on this system, and we're moving it to uh, WordPress, which is, you know, anything under the sun that you want to do in WordPress, somebody has solved for you. So um, part of my responsibility, well, my entire responsibility for this particular project has been the kind of... Uh, adaptation of the data from their current system to the WordPress environment. And tackling something like that uh, programmatically is easy. Like the, the, the theory of taking data from one database and transferring it to another and maintaining relationships and that sort of stuff is pretty straightforward. Um, you know, it's just a matter of remapping everything to new fields. So imagine an Excel spreadsheet that has columns A through Z, but you need to flip all of those around and put them in different places. That's what we have to do. And the easy part is doing that. The hard part is knowing what goes where. And uh, part of the reason that I'm now, you know, it's a time crunch is because I have been, you know, I don't want to say I've been avoiding it, but I've been working on other things because other things made more sense at the time, and this didn't. And um, so this week has been a, you got to get it done. So we're getting it done as a team, you know. And uh, so for one, so lesson number one this week has been, you know, just asking for help, just being like, hey, I, I don't know how to do this. Uh, can somebody help? And uh, the second one is just kind of um, my general avoidance of communication. You know, if my phone rings or if I get an email notification or whatever, I just kind of, mm, I don't want it. Like that's, it's, it interrupts me. It interrupts what I'm doing and I don't want that. <laughs> and it gets in the way and it bothers me. Um, so it can be awkward for me at work. When, I, when suddenly I have to start dealing with customers or I have to start dealing with other team members on a non-personal, like, face-to-face -face basis. Um, <laughs> and so I've had to kind of adapt. And, and you know, today uh, was a work-from-home day, which means that, you know, I'm here and I'm just getting stuff done oh, that I can remotely. And I've been working with uh, the client who has a, a kind of a, Jack of all trades, DBA role person who is f somewhat familiar with this uh, previous uh, system, and I, w you know, we had a meeting yesterday, and I just asked, like, "Hey, are you willing to give me the data dump and uh, in a in a WordPress friendly way?" And his answer was like, "Yeah, let's figure out the mappings, and we'll just do it." And I was like. Okay, you know, and so I've, I've built up this anxiety. I've built up this, this, like, I don't know how to do this. What do I do feeling for, you know, the better part of a couple of months now, because I've not been 100% certain that I knew what I was going to do to solve this problem. And in reality, all I really needed to do was ask. And asking is something that I'm very, I have a very difficult time doing. We've talked about that uh, in the past, but it's difficult for me to ask for help. It's difficult for me to, to ask for um, to, to ask somebody to stop what they're doing to work on my problem. I've always been the kind of person that just problem solves and figures it out. Um, but on a problem like this, where it's not something that I'm even 
remotely familiar with, you know, the correct thing to do was ask. And, and, uh, ultimately I think it's gonna, it's gonna work out. So, um, yeah, those are life lessons I've learned this week. And, you know, I'm still continuing to grow as a person and, and maybe, uh, at the end of, of all of this, uh, with M's help, I'll be an adult. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to grow up. <laughs> but <laughs> that's what I have for you today. So thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you, and I will see you tomorrow. Today's episode was brought to you by the word abominate, a verb. When you abominate something, you really, really hate and dislike it and view it with considerable loathing. For my part, I abominate all honorable, respectable toils, trials, and tribulations of every kind whatsoever. Herman Melville, an American author. Abominate. A-B-O-M-I-N-A-T-E.